No, 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 I feel comfortably numb. Yo, actually, on a, one episode of Sopranos, actually, it was the episode where Christopher died. When um he was like, you heard this Departed soundtrack? Yo, he actually was playing the song from Departed in Sopranos, in the car. I didn't know That's that. That's the song that was playing when uh when the car flipped and Christopher died. But yeah, so uh this is going to be uh, volume two of Sopranos Spectacular. Coming right back at you. Because we just watched the prequel film to the Sopranos, The Many Saints of Newark. Holy fucking shit. If anyone... If anyone has ever been to Newark or knows anything about Newark, the one thing Newark doesn't have is any saints. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But, uh, Shit, nah, because his name, uh, because uh, uh, Christ- in the show, The Sopranos, you have Christopher Moltisanti. And the movie is about his father, Dickie Moltisanti. Uh, which, uh, and um, Moltisanti in Italian means many saints. Literally. It translates to many saints. So that's why it's called Many Saints in Newark. You know, because the uh, the Sopranos are a New Jersey based crime family syndicate mafioso uh, Cosa Nostra Lucchese. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> but uh, yeah, yo, the movie. Honestly, though, yo, seriously, honestly, all right. First that of, shit first was of all, fucking first of all, crazy. First, first, all right. Well, I guess first things first. Uh, Isaac took mushrooms for the first time. That shit was cool. And it was nice. So we took was, we took chill. we took mushrooms it. and watched the many saints of Newark. It was interesting. Which was a masterpiece and a magnum opus. It was. Any more alliteration? The visually. Visually. That's not yeah. an M. Well, an M. I said any more alliteration? Uh, you said visually. <laughs> but um yeah, that shit was but yeah, vi- no, nah, yeah, visually, yes. Yeah, it was it was it looks <coughs> it looks cool. It, honestly, he has to make a part two. He does. I, he really does. <sighs> because that, that shit was amazing. It was. That shit was a prequel. And I get it. It's a prequel to a show that already exists. And, but it started, it, the way it started kind of like threw me and I was like, ugh. I, but then, yeah, and, you, but, you then it. but then, as, but then as the movie ended, I realized I'm like, he basically just did, he basically just did what he's what he's always done. David Chase, the creator of The Sopranos, he took the mafia and made it uh, down to earth, made it more. Don't get me wrong. The movies that I was say how, the, how can you do uh, listen? This? The movies that the movies that Martin Scorsese makes about the mafia. Yeah. Okay. Um, something like a Goodfellas, Henry Hill. A lot of that stuff was tr- was like kind of boosted up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, I've heard about yeah, yeah it was kind of boosted I've heard up, about right? That. And they now, left out certain bits. Now, Casino, on the other hand, that yeah. shit really happened, like almost bar for bar. But what I'm saying is that that's a guy who ran a fucking casino in Las Vegas for the Chicago Mafia, or it's like big fish shit. Like he's like really, really, yeah, and okay. The Sopranos is much more kind of blue collar. You know what I'm saying? Regular the unity, everyday the, the unity. <laughs> The fuck it was. The union? The union. I but regular, union. yeah, regular yeah. everyday, humble. But I mean, those are these guys still make money. But I mean, even the, even the family that The Sopranos is based on, there's a real, there was a real small New York, uh, New Jersey uh, mafia family that I think was, I think they were under the, I think they were under the umbrella like the Philadelphia mob, like the Philly mob. There's but, some mob in Philly? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Sam Scarfo in order. But anyway. The Philly mob, and um, they were really kind of like that. There was that thing where the guy who who was the boss, okay. he like went to his son's little league games, and you know what I mean. Like he was like uh, a just regular a regular guy, guy, but at the same time he was He's, in that shit. Yeah, okay. So that's what I'm trying to I say. David Chase definitely brought it more down to earth. It's not as grandiose. Like if you look at Godfather, they live on a fucking, you know, they live on a fucking. Uh, a, a compound, yeah, and they have you know what I mean. It's it's the guards. High, it's the it's, highest level. What yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? He's sitting at the table of the five families with the with the uh, the committee and the council or whatever. All the big shit, exactly. So the Sopranos is much more ground level, much more. You know what I mean? Regular every day. and much more realistic because there are a lot of mafia mob mob and mafia guys. A lot of them did make fucking tons and truckloads of money, but there are a lot of dudes who will tell you, yeah, I, I didn't really. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I had a, I had a couple of nice cars, I had a nice house and shit, but, but I was I was I was I was chasing it. 
had to catch up with that shit. I had to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with myself. Like, you know what I mean? The shit was, but that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, his shit is way more down to earth. And basically what, I said all that to say this, the beginning of the movie, it's, um, it's kind of slow. It's Janice's, it's Janice's, uh, uh, her, um, what do they call it? Uh, for, uh, Catholics. Oh, uh, communion, not communion. Making of a woman. Not her communion, her catechism. She, uh, she had her catechism. Catechism? Yeah, she had, she she uh, whatever. So um, it, it's basically like, I think it's like a bat mitzvah for or bar mitzvah for fucking Catholics. Oh. <laughs> wow, the things you don't know. Honestly, I, the things you don't know, Isaac. Hey. Really... What's the big fucking deal, bitch? Yeah. No, that's, oh. that's the wrong one. That's the... I'd kill him again if I could. Yeah, that's how I feel about Isaac right now. Hey, it's it's fine. But um. Yeah, you made me lose track. Oh, all right. So the catechism or whatever, it starts with that. In the beginning of The Godfather 1, it starts at the wedding. Yeah. Of his daughter. If, 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 that's very... So now, I noticed, the, I was noticing similarities listen, with that So shit. you have you have the big, huge wedding in The Godfather 1, right? The daughter, they're, they're on the compound. It's like fucking 300 people there. Uh, John Colon is in his office, which Doing. is like, which basically just a guest house. It's huge. It's pretty much. And, 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 and anybody can ask him a favor on the day of his daughter's wedding. And they're coming to him, oh, Don, Don Vito, and all that kind of shit. Now, now. Uh, Thank you for having me in your house. Yeah. But now, <laughs> with the Sopranos more down to earth, it's just a catechism in the backyard. This is in the backyard. Yeah. You know what I mean? But these dudes are still players, but they're just living normal life. Yeah. Living normal shit. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It, it kind of. And, yo, honestly, that movie was kind of his. Godfather 1. I want to see him do Godfather 2. I really do. Like, really, he needs to do a sequel to that shit. Like, for real, for real. You said he got into a groove at a certain point. Uh, with Junior, when Junior said, uh, I got to show you something. He put something on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Junior came in with the fucking uh, hair dryers. <laughs> he was like, I got a bunch of fucking uh, suave hair dryers. Women's hair dryers. That nigga used to always do that in the show. Niggas fucking be like, hit a truck and be like, I got a bunch of fucking Jimmy Choo shoes. It's like, yeah, put two to the side for my guma. Actually, put three to the side. I might, I might give some to my wife. Bitch has huge feet. Uh, fucking, um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Many States of Newark was... Uh, she was fire. It, it, I also, what I liked about it was that I thought it was going to go a lot more deeper into, like, the racial issues. It and, did go... It but, went into but, a certain point. Exactly. It, went to it a didn't make point. it. It didn't make the movie all about that. That's what I liked. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It, it they, highlights. I think it. It was at the first, background. Because at first I heard that they were doing it about not about the um because yo you know in Newark it wasn't just it was New Jersey Detroit too during the sixties you know the police were fucking wilding they they knew that they could harass and do whatever they wanted to black people so that's what they would do. You know what I mean? And, and in, in Newark, New Jersey, there was a real right. That was a real thing that happened. Yeah. You know what I, I'm saying? I, I've heard about yeah. that. Because the cops killed some killed some kid. Um, but They killed the kid? I thought it was a grown man. I think it was a kid. Uh, but I don't know. Whatever. I could be wrong. But anyway, it's a real thing that happened. And then, um, uh, fucking, uh, oh, and then they had the busing thing. Because then, remember, later, after we watched uh, Many Sisters of Murder, I had to show this nigga Departed because he never seen The Departed. And then the departed. I know, I know. And the departed starts with uh the the black, I mean um the um the Boston busing thing, where basically they were desegregating schools, because that was happening. Okay. And they were saying, like, so you're telling me my kids gotta go to school with these fucking niggas and they gotta ride on the bus with them? <laughs> yeah. When he said uh I forgot how the conversation got up with uh but when he was like he's like, dude, you're if you want my advice, you're just a black guy in Boston. When DiCaprio uh, told, uh, what's his oh, face? Someone in the Academy. Department. Yeah. No, no, no. He said, he said, he said, he said something, something, something. He said, I'll be completely fucked. And then Leonardo DiCaprio said, you're a black guy in Boston. You don't need anybody's help to be completely fucked. Yeah, that's what no, I was. Boston, yeah, Boston is hella racist. But it's, it's, it's not only that Boston, it's not only that people, see, this is the thing about Boston that doesn't, the racism in Boston doesn't really, bother me as much because a lot of it is just reactionary racism. Meaning, okay, uh, you have, let, let's just say you have, uh, you know, like a fucking, you know, South Boston white guy, right? Okay. He's just walking around through his day, right? Whatever. Whatever. He's drinking fucking Samuel Adams, whatever. The fuck do. And uh, let's just say a black guy crashes into the side of his car. He's going to say, 
you motherfucking nigger. You mother. You know what I mean? It's not like he's just waking up hating black people. It's just that if the person that did it to him is a certain thing, he's, he's going to say the it. absolute worst thing he could say to that person. Oh, wow. If it's a Spanish person with his car, or a Latino person, whatever, you spick, fuck it. <laughs> Every, yo, you fucking wet back, go back to fucking. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like that kind of racism. I mean, it's still fucked up. But what I'm saying is like a lot of it too, honestly, and especially in Boston, New York kind of has this too, not as much, but especially in Boston, because it's a lot more like mixing in Boston. Like you have black, whites, Asians. I've heard about this mixing. But you have blacks, whites, Asians, whatever, who all live, uh, you know, who all might live below the poverty line or, you know, res or uh, relatively, you know, lower middle class. And they all chill and they all hang out. But, when they fuck with each other or they talk shit or whatever, uh, it gets... It get, but that's the same thing with us. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But yeah. it's like, it would be like if I... But I was like, no white person is that cool me. It never will be. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I, I get it to an extent. You know, I, I understand. You know I mean, it's not the same as, you know, a person who just says, I hate... or No. It's just like, no, I hate that one. And I'm going to call him the worst thing I can think of. <laughs> it's just that kind of a thing. But like... Um, I... I I guess I get it. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to get. It just is what it is. Yeah. But, and then, like, you know, well, and, and then only that is, like, like it's, it's just, it just it's very wild. Just, it seems very Boston extreme. Just, yeah. Boston is just, like, it's just like that. You know what I mean? Well, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the, um, the only thing, the only complaints I have about the movie, The Many Saints of Newark, was, it was some characters who I wanted to see the younger versions of. Cause like we got to see younger versions of Paulie, younger version Christopher as a baby, younger versions of Sil- Silvio, younger versions of Uncle June, younger version of all the characters. I we didn't get to see a younger version of Hesh. That is true. Okay. I would have wanted to see. Yeah. That. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. Uh, the Jewish, the Jewish uh, Shylock, <laughs> who, ha- who hangs out with them. Uh, um, Hesh. Who else? What's the character? I would have wanted. Feech Lamana. Which one was Feech? Feech Lamana was an old guy. Remember he came home from prison? Oh. And he was getting on Tony's nerves and Tony, you know what I mean? But boosting him back to jail. Yeah. Feech yeah. Lamana, I would have liked to see a younger version of him. It's a, but that's why I say you gotta do a part two, man. You got to. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta show. Remember when he said that him and Ralphie robbed a card game? And it was Feech Lamana's card game, and he got away with it because dad was the boss of the family? <laughs> that should be in part two. Like that kind of shit. You know what I mean? That like she was, cool. there was what about the, uh, the truck? Didn't, uh, Tony said he's, uh, he didn't show it to a truck. They was gonna knock over a truck. They're gonna boost. Oh, the that truck. was with that was with Tony. That was with his cousin Tony B. Yeah, Tony Blundetto. But that was when he was older. Oh, he was a little bit older. I mean, but then you could do that too. Yeah, you could do I, that too. I, I want to see that because I think it was like twenty. He was probably saying it was like twenty something in the show when that happened. Basically, Tony was supposed to go, um, you know, boost the truck. They they used to they the uh, especially in. Um, uh, you know, tri-state area mobsters, they used to stay on that shit. I mean, I guess they, I guess they, used, I, I don't know, I guess the mafia used to do it everywhere all over the country, but I know of it, like, person, like, personally of, like, you know what I mean? That Those Italians and fucking Irish dudes, they used to, like, steal trucks. They love that shit. They used to boost trucks, yeah. They love that shit. So fucking, um, uh, what was I saying? They're boosting the trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was supposed to go boost the truck with his cousin, and um, uh, fucking Tony, this is why he goes to therapy later on the show, because he had a panic attack. He got into an argument with his mother. He had a panic attack. And he lied to, his, he lied to his cousin and told him he got beat up by some black guys. I got <laughs> wow. jumped. I, hey, I got jumped by some Moulinians. This fucking Moulinians always attacking me. The fucking Moulinian. They, where, I, I really want to know where these fucking words come from. Mouli, Moulinian. I was watching uh, Do the Right Thing, and he was like, uh, he goes, this fucking uh, Azu Pep. He's a fucking Azu. You pay this Azu Pep to sweep the floor, Papa. What the fuck you doing? Azu Pep, I think, means it's, like It's a black name. pepper. Azu oh, wow. Pep. Yeah. This wow, fucking Azu Pep. Pepper. Yeah. But yeah, they have a lot of names. It's crap. That shit. But yeah, they have, they have a lot. Every <coughs> <coughs> black people are universally hated. We're it's it's wild. We're just too cool, and people hate it. That's all. I guess, but shouldn't be like that. <laughs> oh well, I don't care. But yeah, the movie was fucking great. It was fucking good. 
It was really the really mushrooms good. was really, really, yeah the really mushrooms good. enhanced it a lot. Yeah, it was good. It was really really good. It was really, really good. It was good. It was amazing. F- no, it wasn't amazing, but it was really good. The uh, the biggest swerve I would say yeah. would be the fucking uh, the scene where he shoots <laughs> what's her face through the hair. But that hap- that you know that happened. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, because in the show they said it. That was something that Tony got mad because Janice told the story of how hit her mother, because you know their mother, you know, always talking, talking, running her mouth, sh- won't shut the fuck up. And uh, she had like one of those beehive hairdos in the '50s, where it's like you'd have like a little, she'd have like a little wire, but yeah, little wire, little nest, to sit on top of, yeah, it. on top of her head, and she'd have like the fake hair over it, and he basically shot through that shit. <sighs> this thing had pulled out of the fucking dirty hair, he just went. Pow. Yeah, where so she shut the fuck up, but um, uh, uh, the other shit that came up was that you know in the show, Tony, he because uh you know Christopher his father Dicky Moltisanti from the movie The Many Saints of Newark. Spoiler alert, uh, if you've never seen the show, you would know. If you've seen the show, you would notice. But if you've never seen the show, whatever, he gets killed, right? So fucking in the, in the show, he tells Christopher that your father when he was locked up. He took out some dude's eye. He took out he t- took out some dude's eye in prison, and um uh and then uh, Julie Rufio, uh some guy I think the guy who took his eye out, Julie Rufio, was mad, and then he hired this dirty cop to kill your father, right? So then Tony yeah. ba- Tony basically serves up Christopher's father's murderer to him, and then Christopher feels forever indebted to Tony, right? Yeah. So in he the did. movie, he really in did. the prequel movie. We find out that it was actually Uncle June. Corrado. Corrado. Uncle June Corrado. Corrado. Who loves to eat pussy. He, and I, I think I see why he loves to eat pussy now, because supposedly he don't really like fucking that much. But anyway, in the, in the movie, they, they whatever, they made that uh, abundantly clear. But uh, <laughs> I think this nigga has erectile dysfunction. But anyway, um, fucking, um, uh, what do you mean? What I'm saying? Uh, fucking. Oh, so Uncle June, he got fucking dicky whacked. So then that means that either Tony, because Tony and Uncle June, even though they had their, their differences, they were really close. And they, and he would ask Uncle June for advice, and Uncle June would tell him about shit that he did. And you know what I mean? So there's a there's a chance that Tony knew that Dickie was actually killed. Well, Dickie was given the order was given to kill Dickie by his uncle, Uncle Junior. And that he just told Christopher, Yeah, that's the guy who killed your father. And that right there is fucked up. It's just all kinds of fucked up. It's and he said it too. He said it on the <laughs> show. He said, "I've done something that will f- that will forever." Uh, he said uh, that will forever bond him to me. And I'm like, "That's so." Then that shows that yeah, he probably did know, or maybe he didn't. Maybe he just knew that the cop did it. He didn't know who put him up to it, maybe. but he knew the dirty go. You know, I feel like I kind of knew the whole time. No, I did not say that. No, I, no, but I'm saying that's what you said to yourself. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you saw it, and then you out. and then you said. I feel like I kind of always knew that. No, because then you said you didn't know. I'm like, nigga. But yeah, it was hilarious. Because then uh, he got frustrated and shot the guy, and then fucking his fucking toupee was all like, it was like Trump style. <laughs> you know, like Trump. His shit was hanging it off. It was like his shit looked like Trump in front of the helicopter. The shit was hanging off by the last cunt hair. That shit was fucking. Yeah, that shit was fucking pretty hilarious. He that, that guy who played the guy who played um the strut. Sale, <laughs> I think he did a great job. I think he did a good job. I thought I, for what it's worth. I think he did a good job. The guy did Paulie. He did a he did a decent he did, he, he did a decent job. He did, it was decent. Yeah. Yo, when the black people were rioting and like you know whatever and like you know looting and shit, fucking on the way to I think it was on the way to something, fucking Paulie pulls up to a fucking uh, a a, 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 um, a store with like TVs in the window like how it used to be back in the day like you know like display televisions. And he said, I give you three guesses who they think did this. And then he breaks the glass and steals the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That was such a poorly moment. <laughs> then when the black guy comes in, the black guy said, let me get a Cavassier and Coke or something like that. And then Paulie goes, that's what you're drinking on the plantation now? It's like, God damn. Yes. Yo, but that's the kind of racism you get from... Jersey, Boston. Jersey. You know what I mean? It's, it's that harsh shit. But that's why you... All right, not to digress too much, but Patrice O'Neill, right? Uh, 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 definitely, definitely a, a, definitely a guiding light to this show, right? But anyway, 
Patrice, I I can see that. Patrice, see that. Patrice O'Neill, he grew up in Boston, and when he used to be on the radio, he used to be on Opie and Anthony radio show with these with these two Long Island white guys. Anthony Cumia is very. He's also like that kind of racist. You know what I'm saying? Jokingly, but also not in serious. A hateful way. Oh, what, are you serious? But I'm saying like he means it, but it's funny. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you know I, don't, I don't like yo. One day, I don't know. Right, listen, one day he came into the show, right? And he's like, "I'm just so pissed off." And he's like, "And they're like, why?" He's like, "Last night I'm watching TV, and an ADT commercial comes on, and the burglar's white." And they're like, "Okay." And then, it, and well, that's not true. Opie was like, "Yeah, I know, right?" It's like, what are they trying to do? All this PC stuff. And then Patrice was like, "I mean, it's not really being PC. There are white burglars too. <laughs> <laughs> there are also white burglars." And then, and then, and then Kumia was like, "Yeah, but I mean, it's not. There are way more black burglars." And then Patrice, what? Patrice was like, "Black people don't even burgle, nigga. Like that's not even something that niggas they burgle. Do. Niggas don't even burgle." Not for sneaking in your house, stealing shit. I'm going to bash your shit in and take shit. That's robbery. That's what we do. It's different. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they used to get in those kind of arguments, those kind of shits, where like, you know, he'd say, he'd say shit, and it's like, even though I know he means it, and he believes that, it's still hilarious. I don't care. I don't got to be friends with Anthony Cumia. Hey, but, that's you. But yeah, but Patrice, but, but one thing that Anthony said about Patrice, he was like, he was like, he was like, you, he said, like, Patrice, you were like a student of white people. <laughs> Seriously. He said that. And Patrice said, well, student he, of he's, white like, people? He's, like, he's like, well, dude, I grew up in Boston. And I know what he oh. means because it's like, okay, if they're going to talk about I, you, I know what he means. Too. If they're going to say, and, and I'm the same way. When I was in school, I wouldn't just go for, when I did go to school, white kids for the short time that it was, I wouldn't go for the. Fuck, shut up, white boy, cracker, whatever. No, I knew that your last name ended in an I and meant that you're Italian. And I'm going to attack you for it. I knew that you're I knew that you're Polish and that they say the Polacks are dumb. And I'm going to attack you for it. I know I, I know that fucking, Wait, they say Polacks are dumb? Yeah. That's the stereotype about, about Polish people. Wow. How many Polacks just take the screw on the light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. I just know fucking Oh my god! For, uh, but that's what I'm trying to say. Listen, that's what I'm trying to say. Patrice was like, "Yeah, I know about all the different white people. I'm not sitting because because he, he said he said, and I said, yo, I thought that before too because he said, I think I don't know if he said this or I, said, I don't know whatever. But basically, it's the thing of you're not gonna hurt them with that. You cracker, you fucking cracker, you white boy. You know, it's not gonna hurt them. You gotta dig deeper." You gotta say something that will that'll make them think of their grandma. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you gotta know. You just gotta know. And that's what I'm trying to say. He he grew up around those motherfuckers like that who would say shit like that to him. Like, what's that? Your lunchbox, Patrice. Uh, well, now nah, they're from Boston. What's that? Your lunchbox, Patrice. <laughs> uh, peanut butter jelly sandwich and um uh what a, a fucking a corner <laughs> a corner store juice. Or it's orange juice. Oh, that's what they're drinking on the plantation now? <laughs> that's so fucked up. You know what I mean? And then Patrice would be like, shut the fuck up before I shut the fuck up before I uh shut the fuck up before I um before I uh before I give you the black before I give you the black plague. Before I give you the black death or something, I don't know. Among those lines. Oh, I'd kill him again if I could. Trans whatevers. <laughs> I like a woman you can grab Next onto the something. Next the blind will see in the rain. I like a woman you can grab onto something. Next the blind will see in the rain will walk. <laughs> sound effects, everybody. I got brand new fucking sound effects. Oh, yeah. These are, inter- these are good sound effects. Better. Uh, I, well, uh, a lot better. Chris Rock, Chris Rock, did a, Chris effects. Rock did a shit about that too. He was like, he was like, black people just say, crack ass, crack it. We ain't got no time to be splitting white people up into different categories. Be like, shut up, you fucking cracker. Be like, I'm Czechoslovakian. Shut up, you Czechoslovakian cracker. And it's just like, no. He's from the Eastern Bloc. He's fucking Nico Bellic. Call him that. He likes to go bowling. Yeah, he likes to go bowling. He has a unibrow, probably. He wears tracksuits. He wears tracksuits. Just like an Italian. 
but but worse because they wear the tracksuits with like the collar that sticks up, <laughs> and they like wearing the, and they like wearing the uh, they like wearing kappa tracksuits with the little girl, you know, with like the chick. You ever see the kappa tracksuits? No. Where's the chick? What? Look up kappa. Look up. My phone's over. Oh damn! I forgot. Yeah. I'm not sure about it. You never seen a kappa tracksuit, bro? I, got, I have. Heard. I got a pair of uh, kappa. I have heard of no such thing. I I don't look. I've never wore tracksuits. I haven't dig, dug deep into it. No, but I uh, I have a pair of Kappa track pants. But uh, yeah, this is the ones that uh, that these fucking Ukraine, these U- these Ukrainian ref- refugee types wear. Lith- <laughs> Lithuanians, motherfuckers who still call the club the disco. Disco, disco, <laughs> disco, good. Disco, 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 disco yes. What about uh, what's that other one? Please, let's go to the discotheque. Belgium? No. It's Eastern. Oh. You've seen those before. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, cap and track pants. And they have like the little broad on the, the little double broad on the side of the pants. But yeah, you know, shit like that. But yeah, it's Very, just, you, you just gotta, you got like, you gotta know the different, the different kind of white people. There are different kinds of white Because I mean, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm not saying, you know, purposely go around trying to hurt anyone's feelings. But I'm just saying if you, if you want to make an impact, <laughs> that, that, that generic shit ain't going to work. <laughs> if you want to make an impact? Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Look like at what Rex. you said. If Rex you want to make a like, of your grandmother. Rex was like, yeah, I did my 23 and me and I'm Scottish. And I'm like, oh, wow. He was like, he's like yeah, yeah, my family's from the Highlands. I was like, wow, they made a movie about you. It's called The Highlander. You ever seen Braveheart? It's like, who gives a fuck? Scottish people aren't shit. No one cares. They fuck goats and they All eat, you do is have eat. a broadsword and you eat haggis. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, hummus, what the fuck is this? No, haggis. haggis. They eat haggis. Stum- was it sheep stomach or some yeah, shit? Yeah, it's a sheep stomach. This, who you, comes up with these recipes? Who does? Yo, British people have... Who, 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 okay. I mean, who not, was sitting well, around the campfire well, listen, and listen, was like, yo, let me stuff listen, this shit into this that, in the sheep listen, stomach. That part of Europe, uh, Ireland... Britain, Scotland, that part of Europe, they have the worst food. The worst food in the world. It ha- has to be. Listen, they have a they have something in Britain that they eat called spotted dick. Did I don't you, want to see what this is. Did you ever know that? I I, I no. They I don't want to. They eat blood pudding. I I have you seen the one where they eat uh jellied eels? Yes. <laughs> they eat they eat fucking jelly what's, eel. My nigga. They, uh, you know what a British breakfast is? Uh, scram eggs. Yep, uh, two, two, two eggs over medium. Uh, bean, baked beans, baked beans, and tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> Ugh. I'm be honest with you. The 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 beans have some spotted dick and some haggis. Oh my god, I've heard about. Okay, I've heard Would about. Would you eggs, like the haggis? Some egg spotted and tomato? dick. I've heard about egg and tomato, but egg 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 with beans. I I would. Yes, spotted dick. They serve the shit in the can, guys, by Heinz. Why would you? Yeah, I think that's just like the. But spotted dick is a traditional British baked pudding, historically made with suet and dried fruit. Suet? And often, and often served with a custard. What the fuck is suet? I don't know. Can you look no at one, No one does. No it's one mysterious. does. It's mysterious. It's the most mysterious ingredient ever put into food. Listen, would you like to have some spotted dick? What? <laughs> no. Get this shit. No. Ugh, if you. Oh, fuck. That shit oh, creepy. That shit, shit creepy as fuck. Non traditional ver- variants include recipes that replace suet with other fats. Other suet suets with of, other fats. I think it's kind of like a. Um, it's like a lard. I'm about to say lard. Yeah. It's kind of like a lard. They hear <laughs> a lot of weird. Toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. Yep. Guys, these niggas eat. These are British. These guys. <laughs> They eat listen, eggs listen, with listen, beans. listen, listen, young man. <laughs> and fucking listen, spotted listen, dick you, you and jelly to, deals. Listen, you need to get some culture. Toad in the hole. Toad in the hole is basically just sausage toad in traditional English dish consisting of sausages and Yorkshire pudding batter. Usually served with oniony gravy. <laughs> Yo, these niggas was doing <sighs> anything. Wait, all right, and they have, I swear to you, I swear to you, I'm not. He's a fag. They have a dish, a British dish, 
All right, David Pritis just called to- Toad in the Hole, right? We've gone over that. They have a British dish called Spotted Dick, right? And then they have one that's literally just called Faggot. What is Faggot? <laughs> wait, what's Faggot? Hold up. Okay, Faggot. This is a dish. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Give me. I have to read in the British accent. I, I want to do it in the British accent. Go ahead. You do a British accent, Isaac. What, something we've never heard. Wow. Faggots are meatballs made from minced off cuts and offal. Awful? The fuck is awful? Especially poured together with herbs and flavoring and sometimes added to breadcrumbs. It is traditionally the dish served in the United Kingdom, especially in the South and Mid Wales. In English, ah, ah. Yo, you, turn, you suck. <laughs> I tried, motherfucker. Fuck out of here. Faggots are meatballs. <laughs> That's the first line of this. Faggots are meatballs. Damn, I kind of want to make that the fucking name of the episode. <laughs> yeah. I might put this one in the description with no context. <laughs> Faggots are meatballs. <laughs> That's the first line of this description of this food. You can't say, yo, you can't cancel us even if you wanted to. The shit says it on Google. There's a dish called faggot. <laughs> Faggots are meatballs made from... Fa- listen, listen. See, you you Americans are so uncouth. And so, and so, so very juvenile. A faggot is simply, are simply meatballs made from minced cuts of awful. Do you know what awful is? Awful is the part of the animal no one wants to eat. So it's okay. Well, you're too good to eat. You're too good to eat the chicken's the chicken's butthole. Well, we'll put it in awful. You're too good to eat a chicken's gizzard. We'll put it in awful. Much like your American hot dogs, the things that are left over, you just mince it up and put it here. But we we have enough common sense to call it what it is. Awful, awful, and. And we, and, and we also, awful we also have the integrity here in the United Kingdom to call a dish faggot. <laughs> would you like would you like some spotted dick or faggot? Would you like some spotted dick? Faggot? All right, so it's on the menu, so I can say it like that. So like it's the spotted dick's at the top, right? The faggots and there, so I go, hello, sir. Would you like some spotted dick? Faggot, perhaps? <laughs> He's a fag. <laughs> Faggy is a meatball. <laughs> oh, God. British people. Y'all, you guys. <sighs> but yeah, I guess, I, I mean, British. I guess we should get back to talk about the many things in Newark. Uh, basically, um, oh, I forgot how we started this shit. Dicky Moltisanti, uh, he's you know he's he's the he's he's the popular he's the popular kid. He's the cool guy. He's the popular kid in the mafia. He's the wise guy. But the oh, I, I'll tell you this: on the show, The Sopranos, uh, Christopher Moltisanti, everyone, they talk about how Dicky was a, a a dope fiend, like he did heroin. Yeah. And like in the movie, there are some moments where he acts really crazy and really erratic and weird and like like a fiend. But they never show him doing heroin in a whole movie, and I don't know if that was a like a like a like a like a purposeful choice, but it worked. It was so fire. Cause what did I say like five times during the movie? When he's gonna start doing heroin? When he's gonna do heroin? When's he gonna do some heroin? But yo, but there was that the one moment where I was like, oh nah, he's high on heroin now, is when Tony was like. He was like, uh, Dickie, I don't want to take the, I don't want to take the speakers because they're hot and I'm trying to go to college. I don't want to get caught with those. And he's like, listen, Anthony, all you got to do is take them and then tell yourself this is the last time I'll never steal again. And they just do it again. What? <laughs> what kind of fiend logic? What kind of methadone clinic logic is that? You no, know, the shit where you had me crying was when he, uh, what was the shit he said to him? And he gave him pinky promise. <laughs> he was like nine or some shit. Yeah. Now he's in the mafia. <laughs> yeah, he made him. He made him. <laughs> he made him pinky. <clears throat> he went to talk to Tony when he was like <clears throat> ten years old. <clears throat> you know, Tony <clears throat> started um, <clears throat> you know, being mischievous, mischievous, um, mischievous, fucking getting in trouble, doing shit. So they would always get Dicky to go talk to him because Dicky was older. And in and, and, and like in and all that stuff, so he's respected. But also Dicky was a little bit younger and a little bit more hipper and cooler than say, you know, Tony's father or his Uncle June. Or, so they would send him to talk to Tony. You know, because Tony would listen to him. And he basically said, 
come on, man, you're going to do better, you're going to try harder, you know, because at the time his father was locked up. He was like, your mother needs you to be strong. He was like, pinky swear? And then when they pinky swear, I was like, there it goes, he's in the mafia. <laughs> he's just been made. <laughs> Woke up this morning, got yourself good. This shit has some really good music. It has some really good musical moments. When he he did something, uh, uh, he did something at at the um at the beach, and the water crashed. And when the water crashed, the music did too, and it was just fucking amazing. Yo, honestly though, that's crazy because we watched we watched Many Saints of Newark, and then we watched The Departed, right? Mila for uh, Mila Variga, whatever her name is, the chick who plays Tony Soprano's mother in that was in The Departed as the psychiatrist. Yeah, she was. And then a lot of the music... It's that, interesting she's playing the psychiatrist. <laughs> and then the music... Yeah, I know, right? And then she's a crazy bitch, another thing. Um, but, you know, Dave, yo, yo, David Chase is basically just... He, yeah, he's just a, a mini... He's a mini Scorsese. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Because that, that it's, yo, it's really... But it's really... it's They still have really, like, different styles, but even though it's like... You can... It's just the same feel. The music... Everything, you know, what I'm that's why I say it was weird when on the Sopranos, Christopher was like, "Hey, you heard this Departed soundtrack?" And that's a Scorsese movie. You know what I'm saying? Well, Departed got some good ass music. Oh, they walk into the horizon, boom, boom, boom. I'm comfortably numb. And then they got the Irish, uh, the Irish, the, the Irish, the Irish badass. Song. I came in a dull scene and I lost my leg. Yeah. It was cool, man. It was, uh, uh, I mean, um, Departed, Departed is, if you've never seen The Departed, I, 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 I like, I've heard, I've seen a couple of, like, I've seen such parts of it, but I never watched it fully until the such other night. Movie. It was a good movie. Such a movie. As there's Scorsese it, can't it, miss just, well, honestly. No, what I'm just not gonna say can't miss because there's like two of his movies that are shit. Um, to me, which ones? Um, Raging uh, Bull. Hell no, Raging Bull is a classic. I didn't really care for. I thought it was boring. Really? Yeah. Uh, you just you just un, you just you just um you just uncivilized. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, you savage. Um, so uh, I would say uh. What was the movie called? Hugo something? Something Hugo? He made like a kid's movie. Hugo? I think I know. Just, I, I know Hugo. We got The Kid in the Clock Tower or some shit? Yeah. That was a Scorsese movie. That was Scorsese? Yeah, that shit was shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, there was something else he did that I did not care for much. And I can't remember what it was. But yeah, the other one was called Hugo. It was like a kid's movie. He took a swing with that shit. That shit was trash. But everything else he's ever done is, you know what I mean? Goodfellas. Fucking um, Casino. Casino fucking uh, uh, um, uh, Gangs of New York. That was fucking funny, yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Fucking, like, <laughs> just don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Mean Streets. It just don't stop. Mean Streets? I'm be honest. There was a couple of the parts where I'm like, okay, it's just dragging on a little bit. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a 70s movie. Yo, you really have, yo, you really are a part of the microwave generation. You have no fucking patience. You can't appreciate a fucking slow burn. You know what's crazy? It's good thing I don't did, mind a slow burn. It's a good but thing like, we did take the mushrooms yesterday. Because that movie was a slow burn. But when you're on that kind of shit, it's like. It was a slow burn? You, that was a slow burn? Yes, of course it was. What do you mean? I didn't really, I don't know, the pacing. Like in the beginning, it was slow. And then, like you said, I agreed. It, it's at a certain point, it got into a groove. Yeah. But I mean, uh, yeah, it's like, this is crazy. I mean, this nigga also said that he saw um, Training Day recently and was not impressed. No, it was good, no, but no, I no, thought no, it was no, overhyped. No, 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 no. That's all yeah. I'm saying. He said it was overhyped. What? Nigga, you crazy as fuck. It was good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm acknowledging that it is good, but oh everybody Oh, my keeps... God. Just say what you're going to say. What? Don't say both things. I hate when people do that. I really hate when people do that. No, because like, I was watching like, no, 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 I'm not saying it's not good and great and all that. But I'm saying, to me, it just was overhyped. It's like, just say you didn't like it. I did like it, but I thought it was overhyped. That's all I'm saying. I was overhyped, though. What do you mean? Like, nigga, what more do you want? I didn't think it was want? all that. <laughs> what <laughs> more do you want from me? <laughs> no, what more do you want, though? Like, it's like... I was watching, and I was like, okay, I get what people like it. I do. But I was like, okay, I, don't, I just didn't think it was worth hype. Really? Where everybody goes off and like, yo, train days is shit. I'm like, it is. Hey. With the ending? 
And what yes, he and, what, and, what, and, what, cool. and with what he's trying to accomplish the whole movie and how the shit was a setup from the fucking beginning. And how that nigga tried to get him raped and murdered by them fucking vatos and left him there. Yo, a lot of yo, which I don't know. Oh, was... That shit was good as fuck. That was that honestly, that's and and, and I you know, I don't people like Oh, so when he did whatever, he played a bad guy. Yeah, that was Denzel's best shit. I didn't see him as a bad guy. I thought he was just an asshole. But I didn't see him as a That was Denzel's villain. best shit to me. That was Denzel's best movie, honestly. I really can't think of what else was better. Like, there are other Denzel performances that are really good. Uh, me and Cherry and Kennedy, if you've never seen it, uh, it's based on a real thing. Me and Cherry and Kennedy, right? MC, right? Um... MK, oh, Mind Control, MK Ultra, Manchurian Candidate, just put a K instead of a C. It's about, but that's what Manchurian Candidate is about. It's about MK Ultra. Mind Control, ac- uh, activated, it's about activated assassins. Like Sirhan Sirhan and um, Charlie, Charles Manson, and people who people have said were, uh, you know. Evil people? No, they were mind controlled into being into well, I think Charlie Manson had a different, uh, a different. They had a different plan for him. But what I'm saying is, like, certain certain is a person where, like, you're you're basically you go through like they basically all went through the process church, right? So you go through the process church. They're telling you you're doing all this spiritualism and all this stuff like that, and da da da. And really, it's just Satanism. And then they tell you that they're gonna do this thing and this ritual. And what they do is they fucking hypnotize you. And then you're just set to go off. So it's like, all somebody has to do is call you. You answer the phone. Powdered eggs. Sweet days. Nothing left. And you just, whoop. And you know you have to go kill so-so. But yeah, yeah, the Manchurian Candidate, that was a great performance by Denzel. Especially since the original was so garbage. The original starred, starred Frank Sinatra. Not much of an actor. Did you like the Book of Eli? Book of Eli was good. That was pretty good. It was good. But I'm just saying, it's like, it's it's just an action-y... Like, you know what I mean? And it's like, he's just... A, it's, there's not a lot of performance with that. You know what I mean? With Training Day, that nigga was chewing up the scene, and that nigga was killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Uh, I got, Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. You might learn a thing or two. <laughs> Oh, obviously you're not gonna let me read my paper. So, so tell me, so tell me a story. <laughs> tell me a story. No, Officer Hoyt. Tell me a story, Officer Hoyt. Well, I was with this uh, blah, 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 and my female partner. Blah, blah. That's your story, Officer Hoyt. That you were on, you were, you had a female partner for over a year and a half, and you ain't get no pussy. Well, was that did she? Traffic? Did she? Did she have her liquor license? Excuse me, sir. Her lick her license. Was she a lesbian son? <laughs> I don't know. The fuck you mean? Then when he went to go bang him with the shoddy, I'm surgical with this bitch. <laughs> I'm surgical. What, what was his first name? What was Officer Hoyt's first name? Oh, uh, fuck. I, I forget, but he kept saying it. I'm surgical with this bitch. And they was telling us a Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican son to come here. He's like, oh, uh, he's like, um, uh, how do you say come here? Something. I don't know. He's like, todo se dos, mijo. <laughs> yeah, that movie was so fucking good. Yo, you're crazy as fuck. King Kong ain't got shit on me. That line, I was that that. Yo, I'm be honest. That it was line lost on you. It was played out because of the, the, all the pop culture references I've seen, all the memes about it and shit. Well, that's not his fault. I know it's not. I'm not, it's not his him. fault. I'm not you, blaming him. No. It's, not, it's not. It's not the movie's fault. That's the internet's it's fault. Not, no, it's not the. No, it's not the internet's fault either. Oh, really? It's your fault. Wow. For being a millennial bitch <laughs> who's born the year the movie came out. <laughs> So Where the movie came out? I had to wait to grow up to go to a movie that's big it up. <laughs> um, but wait, uh, yeah. What? Wait, mo. Damn, y'all keep forgetting your phone is over there on the floor charging. That's the only reason I'm not making him look shit up. I'm not happy about this. Hey, shut up. Yeah, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, what? I'd kill him again if I could. <laughs> Fuck was I looking up again? Trade Day. Oh uh, yeah, we year it came out. Dun 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 dun. And steel, two thousand one. Were you reborn? 
2002. See? what I say? <sighs> Damn. So, yeah, I guess. You know. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Training Day is fire. You're wildin'. Like, this shit had some good lines. I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Shoot program, nigga. <laughs> 23 hour lockdown, nigga. That shit was crazy, bro. That shit was fire. And then the whole reason he's doing all this shit, he killed the nigga. Yo, then the be- all right, the greatest part of training day, uh, like uh, writing wise, you know what I'm saying? Not not plot, but like actual dialogue. He said, you know, you kill somebody, they got to be a slave in the afterlife, right? I said, nigga, what? <laughs> I'm about to start a plantation. Oh, I'd kill him again if I could. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, but he said that in the movie. He's like, you know, if you kill somebody, they got to be a slave in the afterlife, right? He's like, okay, wait, pop, pop, pop. Bang! Killed that nigga. Took the money. Why? Because he had to fucking pay off of Michael Jordan. You know what paying off of Michael Jordan is? Explain. Uh, I say paying off of Michael Jordan because he had to pay the Russian mafia fucking debt. <laughs> you know, Michael Jordan used to gamble, right? Like, yeah, like I've heard a lot about problem. that. Yeah, I yeah. heard a lot about that. That's, and I heard... Th- is that the... Re- I, heard, I heard tell... Was that the reason why he did baseball? I heard about that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Supposedly that was a, that was a factor. Yes. It came to light uh, that, he, that he had a, gamble, a bit of a gambling problem. Uh, and that he owed the Russian mafia a bunch of money or some shit like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened now to... Now you let the police... Be but they didn't, owe, they didn't owe the Russian mafia for the same reason. Because I think at training day, he like killed one of the Russian mafia people's nephew or... He didn't know who the guy was yeah. or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I mean, he had to, Alonzo was trying to get the money, bro. They wanted a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? And then he met with like I think it was like the chief of police, the DA, and whatever. And he called him like the Three Kings. That shit was fire. That was a good ass movie. That was, yeah, you're wild. It wasn't overhyped. It was. It wasn't overhyped. I think it was hyped just enough. Uh, I, that uh, shit was fire as fuck. Uh, that was a very Cali movie. Very Cali movie. It, yeah, it was very Cali. Yeah, that that was yeah. good. Like it should have been. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's he was kind of, yo that 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 character was supposedly based on there was a real L.A. cop who was basically that he was a street nigga who became a police officer somehow, uh, and then like just started like you know stealing evidence and shit and just selling just those running street shit. Yeah, yeah. So whatever. But yeah, the many saints in Newark. Uh, um, Isaac, Isaac's hero, Joey Coco Diaz, was in the film. Coco. Yeah, uh, he got his fucking brains blown Yo, out. Yo, I was like, fucking oh. great. <laughs> it was good to see his fucking fat head fly everywhere. <laughs> fucking Fred Flintstone looking motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was cool. Uh, yeah, Coco. That was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Because he was already whooping his ass. He, he was, was, yeah. He, he was, was getting, getting his, his ass whooped. whooped. He was getting Baganga! But I'm surgical with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Who was the, uh, who was the black guy in there? Uh, his name was um, I think Leslie Odom Jr. Odom, I think, I think, I think. Yo, he played. Um, if you watched, if any of you black, any of you brothers out there, exclude Isaac, but if any of you brothers out there uh, caught a film that came out early this year, uh, 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 I forget the exact name, but you brothers can correct me and remind me. Uh, it was a film about a hotel uh, in the '60s where you had uh, uh, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali. Uh, Jim Brown and Sam Cook all together in a hotel, just hanging out, talking, you know, spitting game, talking that shit. And it was a really, really good movie, man. It was, it was fun. It was, it was, it was, it was inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> now it was really good though. But that um that uh the same black dude <coughs> who plays the uh the militant, the, well the whatever the the came but the became the militant dude in this in the uh, Many Saints of New York movie he played Sam Cook in that movie and he killed that shit he did a fucking great job so i was i was not surprised that he killed this shit the nigga can act he could he really he really did his shit it was it I'm was glad he wasn't british <laughs> i'm glad none of these motherfuckers was british I'm sick of british people coming over and taking the good roles especially you black british niggas Get the fuck out of here Go do Shakespeare in the park or some shit. Go thee, thou, thou, thee, those, thou, this. Go do that shit. <laughs> or see if they'll let one of you niggas finally be James Bond. Wow. 
They yeah. should do a black James Bond. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a big deal. He said he, as the guy said, all he has to be is British. You just got to be British. He just has to be British. He's British. It's, it's a code name. Yeah. And there's been a fucking, you've had a uh, 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 fucking, um, you've had Sean Connery. A Scottish. You've had, um, which is, has, it's absolutely opposite of the actual character. The character is based on the guy who actually wrote the books. Um, his name is escaping me at the moment. But anyway, uh, then you had <coughs> whatever Lazenby or Lazenby. He was uh, he was only Bond from one movie. Then you had um, uh, Roger Moore, who was pff, ugh, terrible to me. I, I, I don't fuck with Roger Moore's uh, Bond. Uh, then you had Timothy Dalton, which actually I was, a lot of people don't like Timothy Dalton's Bond, but I like Timothy Dalton's Bond. Then you had uh, fucking Pierce Brosnan, who was, I don't know, he was kind of, he, I put it like this, one of those movies was good. I can't tell you which one. It, it was either Goldfinger <laughs> or, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, it was either Goldfinger or, or, um, or, uh, 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 or, um, oh, fuck, Golden Eye or one of those shits were, the game was good too, the video game, we played that shit on N64, 007 Golden Eye. F- I remember. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't. You weren't. You were born in 2002. I think I used to play this shit with my cousin with the four fucking four split. Yeah, screen. trying to be retro. But anyway, so um, it was good. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah. So it was one of those movie. Uh, Die another day, maybe. It's like Die another day. I, the I don't one, know. One of the Pierce Brosnan ones was okay. The rest of them were horrible. They had this thing like surfing and shit. Like oh, with the terrible CGI. And shit. Yeah, like nigga, like <laughs> ugh. I only seen the Daniel Craig ones. Really? Yeah. That's the only Bond you've ever seen? Pretty much. That's the one I'm oh, you're used tripping, to. Bro. I know. You're tripping. I mean, don't get me wrong, Bond James Bond is not something so great that you like have to like have to like you know what I mean? It's, it's, just, it's, it's just good. But it's something just first of all, it's it's just Sean Connery ones are cool just because Sean Connery is cool. And it's also it's also um it's also fun to see him be misogynistic. <laughs> Uh, racist, uh, borderline rapist in, in some of those movies. Oh, no means no. Uh, the names of the women, Pussy Galore, Octopussy. Uh, what was the other chick's name? Her name was, um, oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I just came in shock, nigga. I think I got so much shit plugged in. God damn. Damn, nigga. Just got shocked by the mic. Did you get shocked? No. Oh. Maybe I'm just electric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go watch the... Uh, smoking up the blood. Go watch it on Many Cents in Newark, man. It was really good. And um, David Chase, he said, he said, you don't have to have watched The Sopranos since, right? And I, think, I don't think you do. You don't have to have, you don't have, to have watched The Sopranos since, right? It's kind of, yeah. If you're, watch, if you're one of those people who are watching the, sh- the movie, then watching the show, it, it, it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. But if you watch the show first, then watch this movie, it's going to be, it'll it'll be, be a lot better. better. It's a lot better. Yeah. And then you can watch the show again. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be even crazier now knowing the shit that we know from the movie. <coughs> it's just insane. <coughs> and then we watched The Departed. If you haven't seen The Departed, that's... It's a fire ass movie. Jack Nicholson, I, I he basically played Whitey Bulger. His, him and Ray Liotta both have like that cat face for no fucking reason. These niggas look like cats. Ray Liotta when he was like forcing that's out that, that that's laugh. That, that's that old. That's that old nigga Hollywood stress coming out right in your face. Like like when he was like, ha, 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 and he came over out of the fucking car at the dinner table. And I'm just like I, I was uh, especially on the mushrooms. That shit just I was like, is, am I watching fucking cats? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> my, what, what, like the fuck is going on over here? Jack Nicholson is the fuck is this? Am I watching Jack, fucking cats? Jack Nicholson is one of those kind of one of those kind of guys, one of those kind of actors. I forget what I was just about to look at. Fucking um, damn. Fuck. Who was we just talking about? What other actor we just talking about? Uh, the guy who was surfing on James Bond. He's surfing. No. Uh, Denzel? No, I'm not going to fucking nothing with Denzel. <laughs> I would never type that shit in. That shit is for middle aged women to type in. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, damn, was someone I was watching. Norma Tyrese Gibson. What is that? I was watching the Tyrese video <laughs> of him crying. 
Never seen it? Of course I've seen it. How, when did that come out? How long ago was that? Years ago. But it's hilarious. What do you want from me? Man, it was like, damn, three, four years This shit ago. is 43. Oh, no, no, that's, that's a dumb one. But I said, this shit, he was crying for 43 no, minutes. No, no, it was six minutes of being a bitch. You know, compassion is being able to understand the seat and the reality that someone else is sitting in. That's compassion. It's not about the seat that you're sitting in, The Rock. It's about the seat that <laughs> everybody's kind of sitting in. He called him The Rock. He didn't call him Dwayne. He called him The Rock. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. That was hey, another, hey, 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 I what's forgot, up, The Rock? A, I forgot. That was another beef he had. Another beef he had was he had a beef with... Not everybody, but he had beef with a few people on the Fast and Furious fucking uh, crew set team, whatever. They all beef with each other. That's some bitch nigga shit. But anyway, y'all will make high school. Y'all making millions of dollars. What the fuck? I know, but I but anyway, high schoolers and shit. Uh, he said in this shit, he said that the Rock hires the, the Rock hires like fucking uh, people to stand outside his trailer and like get uh, autographs from when he leaves for like photo ops and shit. And I'm like, even if that's true, so what the fuck's that have to do with you? Mind your business. Whatever right. his publicist says he has to do or whatever. He started at, started in wrestling. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's doing the work. Let him let him do his work. <laughs> Working. Nigga, like, and that's what I'm trying to say. It's just like, he's just bitching about the rock. It's just like, who cares, my nigga? Nigga, mind your business. He said, yo, this, no one thing you need under, this one thing you need to understand, the rock. The rock. Not even First rock. Only pregnancy. To this day. sit here and paint the picture of systematic racism. I'm just going to say that the uninvolved fathers has made it bad for the involved fathers. Because Nigga, what? What? Nigga, what the fuck did you just say? He said, I don't want to make this about any kind of systematic racism, but the uninvolved fathers have made it bad for the involved fathers. Mm-hmm. Nigga, your ex-wife, right, lied on you, lied on you to the judge to either get more money or whatever the fuck the reason was or to try to get custody of your daughter or whatever the fuck. That, te- that bitch lying on you and making you has nothing to do with the so-called, uh, the so-called issue of black fathers not being in the home. No. It's not, that's not a man issue. That's a woman issue. Let's say it sounds, that's it's, women it's, that be lied. Like, but I'm just saying, even with a lot of niggas leaving, it be women telling them to get the fuck out. Women, women don't, uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into this. The, this nigga just annoyed me with that shit. <sighs> like real shit. To sit there and say, yo, all you niggas out there not take care of your kids. Y'all make it bad for niggas like me trying to take care. No, nigga, no. First of all, you're stupid as fuck for nothing in that bitch. Me and Dollar was over here the other day looking at that bitch that he's crying over. Her name is Norma. 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 Yeah. She. You should yeah, put a, Norma. You know what you should do? Put an L at the end of that shit because that's how that bitch look. Very Norma. She look normal as fuck, nigga. The fuck is you getting crazy over her for? Why'd you? Ugh. This nigga's a fucking plebe. A this, plebe. This is a plebeian. This nigga's a fucking peasant. Like this nigga got peasant mentality, yo. Like for real, like, and they fucking up the bag. Someone's like, I'm not, I, casting directors won't see me because it is Norma. It's like nigga, casting directors might not see you because you're doing this shit. But then again, they might. Like, look at Tyrese being vulnerable. Oh my god, the raw emotion that he's the showing. Raw emotion. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know he's acting. But that's what I'm trying to. It's just like nigga. Use that as a fucking yo. Use that as stupid. Use that as an audition tape, bro. Yeah, use the shit as 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 he should have used this shit as fuel. To do better, to not suck. He should have used this as, 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 um, as, uh, as, a, as, um, as a way to like fuel him to not suck in Transformers too. This nigga, yo, the only movie this nigga ever been in where he was good was Baby Boy, <laughs> and barely. barely. I don't even remember barely. I don't even remember Baby Boy like that. Was that. Bef- it was before a little before your time, but yo, that. Ugh. What was the one where uh, his son got kidnapped? <laughs> yeah, that shit's trash. <laughs> that shit would always come on BET every yeah, fucking yeah, week. Yeah, that shit's trash. 
with Megan Good. Yeah. yeah that shit is trash. <laughs> Yo, uh, this is YouTube channel. Him running down the street in a fucking tank top. <laughs> trying yeah, to get just, his This song. is YouTube channel called Prim's Hood Cinema. Uh, Prim's Hood Cinema, where he watches like those kind of movies. And he did that shit on his channel. And I was like, I remember this shit. God damn. <laughs> I was like, I remember this shit. God damn, nigga. But yeah, that shit is trash. Everything he's ever done is garbage. It's like, nigga, you're not, I don't know, whatever. But the fact that he really just said that, b- blaming quote-unquote absentee fathers for this bitch coming, no, nigga, that's the woman. That's the nature of the woman. See, but you have a lot of money and influence and clout. So she can't just tell you to leave. She can't just tell you, I don't want to do this anymore. You need to get out. She can't do that to you. You don't work at you don't work at Payless or McDonald's. You work a thirty million dollar. You work you work a thirty. Uh, you work on fucking uh, three hundred million dollar movies and shit. That's so very true. so instead she has to go through the legal system, and and her lawyer whoever maybe they maybe they're not you know the most honest person but they won't do that or they won't do this. So she decides okay I'll just lie myself, because this thing get on my goddamn nerves. And I'm sick of having to put this girl on a plane every two weeks to go see this stupid bald headed ass. <sighs> crying ass motherfucker. Crying Yo, for this the, shit. Crying at the rock. This shit so and he's all over the place in this shit. It's, it's just it's crazy. Fathers that really love their kids and really are standing with their babies are there. Because they're in the presence of so many fathers who may not care. Or being accused of not caring. What? They're not able to tell the difference between the good ones and the bad ones. Did you? Did you? Did between you, the criminals. These guys are looking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Did you like? Uh, did you, Tyrese? Did you uh, practice this in front of the mirror? Like what? What the fuck are you doing, my nigga? I didn't even see this length of the video. I saw the <laughs> middle part. I didn't even see this beginning, this preamble he's doing, this cold open. I didn't even see this. This is a sad human being. And the men of God, the Muslims, the Jews. What? The Christians, the men that wake up every day. The men that wake up every day to focus on one thing. He's weeping. He's weeping. He's a fag. <laughs> My baby. My baby. Shayla. My baby. His daughter named Shayla. He's like, don't take my Shayla. He's going to say that. This is a grown ass man, bro. It's like, no, my nigga, I'm sorry. Don't. And yo, uh, Chronicles of Judah 144, another another uh, guiding light to this show. Uh, he he basically was saying that, like, um, like uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with crying. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with be crying. There's nothing wrong with having an emotional moment. There's nothing wrong with breaking down. There's nothing wrong with whatever. But as a man, nigga, do that shit in private. Do not publicly lash out, break, cry. Don't no. That's not that's not for us, my nigga. Don't do that shit. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. Wait until everybody's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're by yourself. And put your fucking big stupid face in your hands and just let it out, cuz. But nah, don't be sitting there on camera. This thing is on camera on Instagram or whatever he's on. Crying, my nigga, and people's like, he loves his daughter. It's his daughter. It's like, nigga, okay, so like the fuck, I love pop tarts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, that might be a bad comparison. That might. Are be you a- saying his daughter's worth as much as a pop tart? That might be a false comparison. Wait, which ones you talking about? The frosted strawberry ones? We talking about the blueberry ones? Chill, let's not go down this road. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm the saying? s'more ones for s'more I'm, niggas. Hell no, no matter no fucking s'more ones. Ew, what? What? what are you a sociopath? <laughs> <laughs> what are you insane? What do you belong in a mental institution <laughs> eating s'mores, pop tarts? Hell yeah, those shits good. Shits are gross. But um, yeah, they, they, I'm, I'm good. I don't need a pastry with marshmallow in it. Anyway, uh, Pop tarts are gay as gay enough. Uh, 
But yeah, this nigga is up here crying into the camera. It's like, nigga, don't you think for your daughter's sake you should be a fucking man? How about you don't get on the internet and complain, period? How about that? How about you show your daughter the example of a strong-willed man? How about you wait until your daughter's a bit older and then tell her what you went through with her mother and then she'll be like, wow, my father's really strong because I didn't even know any of that shit. He never, he never burdened me with that. But no, instead, kids at her school are fucking running up the views on the shit and probably sending it to her and probably group text, mass chain, whatever. This, I, I don't know how old his daughter was at this point, but if she's any older than five, kids know, they saw, and they're making fun of her. Damn. I'm just saying. Hey. Don't take my baby, please. Don't take my baby. <laughs> <laughs> this baby, nigga, what's this baby boy too? <laughs> the babying? The babying. Rise of the baby. This is all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remember when everything was Rise? Why do they do that? Rise? Like, okay, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, something Rises. Everything was Rises for a while. I I remember The Dark Knight Rises, but I don't remember there everything. Other, there was other, yeah, there were other Rises. The rise of... Rise of the Silver Surfer. Rise. There was a lot of Rise. Oh, um, Batman vs. Superman, Rise, rise of Justice. What was it called? It was Dawn of the Justice League. Da- but then it was Dawn. Everything was Dawn. Yeah, it's weird. Hollywood, stop being weird. Especially this nigga. <laughs> this is all I got. Kick this nigga out of Hollywood. This is all I got. Don't take my baby, okay? Don't take my baby, okay? <laughs> That's the, did he say that line in the Did he say that line in the movie where he took his kid? I don't remember. He should have. <laughs> don't take my baby, okay? I'll do anything. But sound how you sound, nigga. Lord knows. I've been, I've been away from, I've been, I've been, I've been. Damn, nigga, what you gonna beat from your dad? <laughs> remember, remember, your, well, your stepfather used to abuse you, but, yo, like, you know, you, you get a beating from your, from your, from your father, and then he's like, didn't I tell you, like, yeah, uh, 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 I don't know. I can't, hey, uh. this nigga just did that. This is a man who gets paid minimum, minimum. It has to be. I'm, I'm, I'm just now. I'm just thirty, thirty. What? Look, look, look. What? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ballparking it here. <laughs> but ballparking it. This guy is getting a minimum of at least five million dollars for every one of those fucking Fast and Furious movies. Okay, you found something that you could do that's. Fun. Well, should be fun. You've turned it into a fucking dick measuring contest with The Rock, which is gay. Uh, but um, but yeah, like uh, it's like you're 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 you get paid to do something that's pretty much fun. Don't get me wrong. I know it's hard work. You work for twelve hours. You got paid before him. Blah, blah blah blah. But anyway, you work for a few months and you make an an enormous amount of money, right? All that shit. It's like nigga, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing? Normal, broke, uh, starving for attention, nigga shit right here. Like, what are you doing? This is what people do. This is what, like, normal, <coughs> everyday losers do on Facebook to, like, get attention. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen any of this. But, yes, you have. You, oh, if, wait, you ha- if you haven't seen it in a video, you've seen it in a text form. <coughs> I've been on Twitter... Now these are now these are not people I know personally. One actually one of them was, but I've been on Twitter and I've seen messages where a person um I mean, a tweet where a person like, yo honestly today it's feeling like today I might finally do it y'all. Don't 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 Jeremy we all love you. Don't kill yourself. Don't listen man. Call me call me right now. You're attention mongering. Nothing man. nothing is wrong with you. You just want people to fucking feel sorry for you and pity you. It's just, and that's what he's doing right here. And it's sad. It's like, nigga, you, you didn't, you didn't, you know what's crazy? The saddest part, I don't know if when he did this, he was going live or what the case was, but if you recorded this and watched it back and didn't immediately delete this, you're insane. My baby, so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my baby. I just want my baby. I just want my baby. Stop. And no one's listening because no one's in the courtroom. I'm not doing anything illegal. Listen. I'm not doing anything illegal, but I... This is going on the sound. 
what he, what he is about to say is going on the soundboard for, for in perpetuity probably. This one in, in in particular, if I put it on the soundboard, it's never leaving. I don't want nobody. Oh my God, am I doing something illegal by doing this video, or is this? Am I protected by the the, the first right amendment or the amendment? The first right amendment. <laughs> the amendment. The first right amendment. The amendment. Yo, this nigga is retarded. He's just stupid. I've noticed that. Me and Dollar was over here watching like other TMZ style and TMZ stuff about like him and his situation with not just this woman that he's crying about now, but also the woman that he says later in the video, he's like, I remarried, I moved on, Norma. She divorced him too. Uh, yeah. And he just got into a whole dispute with her and all like like probably like, I don't know, this is about a year ago. That's that's but it's that's like, yo, very you're just stupid Tyrese. That is that's, that's, and you got bitch tendencies, my nigga. That's all it is. You obviously have bitch tendencies. And a bitch does not go... I mean, a bitch don't want to be around masculine energy. But they definitely don't want to be around a nigga who act like a bitch. I promise you that. They de- they'll put up with a nigga... They'll put up with a man being a man. Uh, until whatever. But they're definitely not going to put up with a man acting act like a bitch. That shit is crazy, bro. You're wilding right now. Like, this shit is just... Ugh. This, this was sad to see. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Can rewind that? Can rewind it? I'm at thirteen thousand dollars a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> do it one more time, no, stop. Oh, this nigga here, boy, I tell you. Damn. I remember. I poor remember this shit was all over TMZ. Poor little Tyrese Gibson. Poor little Tyree. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. My Sheila. My Sheila. Ain't hey, nobody showing up for me. I got all these millionaire friends. I got billionaire friends. I've been there for you. Why nobody's there for me? <laughs> Nonsense that this grown adult millionaire just said. <laughs> oh my God, my Shayla, <laughs> my Shayla. Hey, ain't nobody showing up for me. I got all these millionaire friends. I got billionaire friends. I've been there for you. Why nobody's there for me? <laughs> me, you. Because they're millionaires and billionaires. They don't got they time have, for your have, shit. They have busy schedules. Exactly. They don't got time for and your shit. And they have their own problems. Unbeknownst to you. You know why you don't think that they have any problems? Because they don't rich. do like you. No. Because oh. they don't do like you and go on the internet and broadcast every fucking little foible in their life. You. Ugh. For real. It's like, bro, what are you doing? And this show's crazy. You know what? Because I was talking to Dollar when we watched this shit. And I'm like, you know what's wild? He talks about billionaire friends. And he's probably. He's probably mainly referencing Dr. Dre, but he almost was the reason why Dr. Dre didn't become a millionaire. Because, uh... Wait, whoa. whoa. Yes. Whoa. He got Wait a, a minute. Listen, when Dr. What? Dre did the... When Dr. Dre did the, 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 the deal with Beats, with Apple... Okay. To do the Beats? Yeah. I remember this that. Nigga, this nigga, Tyrese, hops on his phone, right? Oh, God. FaceTime flip. First black billionaire up in his bed, blah, 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 blah. Posts it, right? Apple gets in contact with Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre and basically says they're taking some money off the table because that was extremely unprofessional. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, nigga, you're a clown. You are a clown shoe. Size 55. Like, nigga, what are you talking about? This nigga is sick. Talking about millionaire, but yo, I remember once they said this shit to, um, I think it was uh, Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel was a rapper who, for all you, for all you, uh, for all you little uh, vaginials, uh <laughs> Beanie Siegel was a rapper who was signed to, to signed to Jay Z. You all know who Jay Z is, right? Yes, we do. Uh, yeah, he was signed to Hove back in the day, and um, uh, he had gotten to some whatever. He had some legal issues, 
guns and things or some shit like that. And when he went to court, this nigga was mad that whole Jay Z didn't show up to his court. Nigga, are you insane? Are you for, are you for real? Yes. Are you for real? Nigga, are you insane? Is there like a thing supporting this? Because I don't believe it. Uh, How are you getting mad that somebody didn't show up to your fucking court date? Because like, oh, I'm your artist. We're supposed to be cool and all that. Nigga. Nigga, that's your shut shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? It's like, yo, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta. Was he involved in some sort of way? Was JC involved? No. It, then what the fuck is he because doing? Because he's on some old street shit where it's like, where you don't pull up, you don't see about me. You don't... Nigga, not at court. Nigga, what's, whatever's going on with you is going on. And they say investigation closed. <laughs> hey. Then I'll come see about you. It's mafia rules, nigga. You're, you're, remember Goodfellas? When you inside? No. Nobody's talking to you. Fuck, man. Shit's crazy, bro. Now, once you're in there, yeah, we can come visit you, whatever. Everything's put away. Everything's whatever, as far as we know. As far as what, you're, what you've got going on. You, all, you also shouldn't even be... Uh, contacting or being in contact with me or anyone else for that matter because you know we we might say incriminate or who know you know what I mean yeah but yeah it's just it's crazy it can't be no no he told that and he said yo I'm mad as fuck nigga who ain't sure are you fucking insane and it's, a- like, and it's like nigga you know Jay I don't know Jay Z but I feel like I know that Jay Z <laughs> would not show up to your court date <laughs> Or Maya. It wouldn't matter, nigga. I could, nigga. He wouldn't show up to Kanye West's. Kanye's produced hits for this nigga. He's done the important thing. He's made this man money. And if Kanye right now was in fucking court, like OJ, this nigga, Hove is not there. Hove is ducking cameras every morning just to not talk about that shit. That's yeah. what he would be doing. Let alone coming to the court date. To What? What? Coming to be a character witness for you or something? Like, what do you fuck? I was talking? there. What you think? What you? Think, I was there. What you think the, the judge is gonna be impressed that Sean oh, Carter? Oh. Uh, the judge is gonna go. Uh, I'd like to. I like to make a motion to everybody to look over there and see that Jay Z is fucking sitting there. <laughs> order in the court. Order in the court. Uh, the Jehovah is here. The Jehovah. All right. The Jehovah is all it? Rise for the, all rise for the J, A to the H to the Izzo, H to the V A presiding. <sighs> I just nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Nah. Oh my god, <laughs> my shame! Uh, oh, oh my god! Damn. Oh. Maybe right. I just, maybe I just let one off his wife. This is what I gotta do, baby. Uh, this is for. This is for. This is for everybody, every man what? out there who's presented facts like me. Okay. Every I'm a married man. I moved on with my life. I do not hate her mother, because if I hate her mother, then that's saying a lot about how I feel about my own daughter. No. It's just not. As 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 Chronicles of Judah said when he was watching the same exact video. No brother. No brother. No. Nah, brother. Like nigga, that has nothing to do with anything. If your daughter's mother is a cunt and you don't care for her, you can be civil but not fuck with the bitch. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean you hate your daughter. The fuck? Your daughter could be super cool. Like wow. Yeah. Never know, it's yeah. crazy. My daughter, you know what's the best thing about her? She's nothing like her fucking mother. Woman versus man. If that's the theme, that's going to be something that you come with. That's not what I... I don't hate you, Norma. I don't, I don't know why you Norma. hate me, but I don't hate you. But you just can't wake up on September 11th and just decide... To accuse me of doing something that I didn't do. And I haven't been able to say anything. I haven't been able to say anything. Oh my God, I never cry. Let me ask all my niggas out there. Yo, this nigga's a fucking liar. 
Nigga said, I never cry. Nigga, the what? way you was crying in this shit. You see, you cry. The way you was crying in this shit, my nigga, it may it would may it would lead me to believe that nigga, you do a lot of crying. You cry often. You you cry unprovoked, probably. Unprovoked? Yeah. That's... You one of them niggas who like you one of them niggas who's just sitting there and a tear and is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing, just look at that sunset. <laughs> I've heard about niggas like that. I've heard no, I mean, no, no, to, to me. I mean, listen, I've heard about I've heard about motherfuckers like that, but listen, I've never listen, met listen, them. Listen, listen. Nor do, do I care to luck, meet them. Do you know how lucky we are? What a time to be alive! I've never cried at artwork. I've never cried at nature. I've never, I've, I've, I'm like okay. I've never really like I cried at like a movie. I don't remember which movie. But like I've cried at like a I movie don't movie. remember which movie. No, I'm dead. I don't remember which movie. Oh uh, yeah. But anyway, but you do. You but do. it's you like do. you do. It's it's seared into the back of your brain. I really don't remember honestly. I've I've, I've movies have movies have made me cry. Not like, but it it move. It, it's made me like go like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's some good shit right here. Like that. You know what I mean? You know what? Actually, to be honest with you, you know what? The only thing, the movies uh, movies rarely ever get me. You know what? You know what gets me. And what it actually will make me like get a little misty, cause what sports shit, all side, right side, left side, oh, oh nah, all nah, side. Nah, 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 nah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Remember the Titans is a great movie, but nah, that movie not. was amazing. But I'm talking about like sports documentaries. Oh, okay, like okay, real okay. life, like people like really like overcoming some shit or like being. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, yo, that yeah. shit like that. Overcoming. That and shit gets me. It's not even, it's not really about the overcoming or like, or success or whatever. It's more just it's about real? just like, the hu- nah, 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 the human condition. And just like, you know what I mean? Like, just like, seeing like somebody like really, but yeah, I guess it is about that too. It kind of is that too. But yeah, sports shit get me, yo, real shit. I can't lie to you. you know I'm know trying to think, uh, I remember Cinderella Man. That shit, I was like, damn. That motherfucker was fighting. At the last round, I was like, "Yo, this you was crying crazy. for Russell Crowe." Well, it, nah, I was I, I was moved. I didn't cry. I didn't shed a tear. I was moved. All right, but that shit was crazy. I'm trying to think, what else? Other what other movies have made you have moved you emotionally? Movies, yeah, or just in general? What what what, have, what has what's moved you? Oh. <laughs> This is part of the, yeah, this is very rare. You're never going to hear this shit ever again. Nigga, you ain't going to hear it now. I'm not about to say or talk about shit that moves me. Moves me. The fuck are you talking about? I just said it. Sports shit. Sports shit. That's pretty much it, bro. Like, to be honest with you. And it has to be about the major sports. Boxing, basketball, football. Baseball ain't gonna get me because I don't give a fuck about baseball. I, yeah, I don't care. But if I watch some shit about basketball, watch some shit about football. Yo, what's the name had me? What's the name had me? What's the name had me like that? Well, what? I was like, the um, the Michael Jordan documentary just came out. The Last Dance. This is, this, yeah, a documentary. Out? Yeah, I didn't know that. That shit had me like that. That shit was just like, yes, nigga. That's what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 nigga. Jordan. Nigga, Jordan was a fucking. Ruthless, my nigga. Ruthless. And it was the part where he cried too. He cried about some shit. I think it was about when his dad got killed. That How shit his was. Dad die? His dad got murdered. Oh shit. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I didn't know that. It's kind of weird. I wasn't aware of that. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Did, did they say, if, uh, was there like a some, yeah, It was like some random teenager. Wild oh movie, shit. Some shit like that. Damn. <clears throat> but I don't know. Yeah, weird. that kid should get. Extra, like extra, 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 extra. Extra, extra, extra weird, but uh, yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, that 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 Jordan shit, that shit got me like choked, choked up. I was like, yo, it's crazy, good shit, my nigga. Yeah, uh, football shit, shit would get me. Um, uh, back in the day when I was a kid, like a good pop in wrestling, especially like the comeback pop. I was gonna say wrestling, but I didn't want you to fucking. No, nah, I'm just. Nah, was real shit. When I was a kid, yeah, that shit used to get me. You know what I mean? Fucking certain whatever shit. But um, yeah, that's about it, man. I don't really get like whatever other you shit really? don't really bother me like that. It's like I, especially the shit that other people get emotional about movies and shit. It's just like it's just like okay, they having problems, big deal. Who cares? 
What was that shit that everybody was going crazy about with the the two kids who had cancer and they they fell in love? On like fourteen treatments or something like that. Oh, no. Let's all. It's it's called let. Let's, it's called let's, let's all, all. get it's called, radiated. Yeah, it's called let's all go get chemo. No, the mu- the musical. Yeah. So I had to go take a fucking shit. You ever seen an episode of Rick and Morty? Since Isaac likes to reference the uh, cartoon shows and shit so much. You ever seen an episode of Rick and Morty where um uh, Rick keeps jumping between different Ricks, and every time he jumps to a different Rick, that's a little bit more powerful because he's at the he's at the um the uh what do you call it? the 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 the, the, the council of Ricks. It's all the different Ricks from all the different dimensions, uh, yeah. and he keeps jumping from different Ricks. He keeps sending his consciousness to different Ricks, and every time he's like, "Hey, blow up that ship! I got that shit." <laughs> <laughs> hey, sign this paper for me. I gotta go take a shit. Yeah, I dropped the Browns off the Super Bowl. But uh yeah. So I was thinking like what what HBO show should I force Isaac to watch next? It's wire. Pro- it's it's but yeah, it's between the wire and um uh, fuck is this shit called? Um the old timey bootlegger show, uh, with Nucky with Nucky Thompson, Nucky Thompson, uh, Nucky Thompson, it's Steve Buscemi. Um, um, I don't know. Yeah, Boardwalk Empire, Boardwalk Empire, Boardwalk, 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 Boardwalk Empire. What's that about? Uh, this guy, he was the um, not the mayor, but I think he eventually was the mayor, but he was like the something, uh. I forget what, it was like a title, you know what I'm saying? Like one of those, you know, like fucking comptroller or some shit, I don't know, some shit like that or whatever. He was one of those people, he worked in Atlantic City and he was a fucking bootlegger Hmm. during Prohibition. Okay. He sold alcohol and shit. And like in the show, like he, you know, he works with Al Capone and um, Uh, fucking uh. shit. Just, 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 Boring Empire was cool. Uh, But yeah, it's either that or The Wire. The Wire. I don't know. One of those. (laughs) <clears throat> I've been HBO has a Damn, bunch of other chair squeaky shit Yeah cause it's shit Um HBO has a HBO has some shows too That like Were kinda like Uh Weird and shitty Check those out dude Which Which was Obviously Sopranos Is their best So What would be their worst The worst HBO show mm-hmm. Uh To me Probably Rome Rome. There was a show called Rome. Guess what it was about? Rome? Yeah. Rome. Venice? The Roman Empire? It was more about Rome in the sense of like, uh, you know, you had like your fucking, um, blacksmith. <laughs> no, like, I'm trying to think. It, I might be getting Romans mixed up with Greeks, but I know the Romans had Caesar. But it's like that, like that, and like, uh, you know, the politics, but then also the army and the soldiers and the slaves and the of Rome, all the people of Rome, and what they went through, and it's just, this shit was kind of corny to me. Uh, what else did HBO put out that was kind of shit? You know what show I fuck with? Um, uh, the Ricky Gervais sh- the Ricky Gervais show is good too. The cartoon, whatever, that's good. The Ricky Gervais show, but extras. He has a show called Extras. Okay, that shit is fire. We gotta watch that. That shit is actually. I never heard of it. Yeah, you know I mean, we gotta watch that shit. Uh, it's not something I would really do on the show. I would just show this nigga. I wouldn't, cause a comedy. You know what I mean, you, you be, wouldn't torture. You wouldn't torture the audience. It's not about torturing the audience. They would probably enjoy it. They get they'd get a free episode of Extras to listen to. Listen to. Listen to a TV show from 20 years ago, but fucking, um, nah, it's just, it's just, I, on this shit, I would never ever watch a comedy or play a comedy or do anything else because we're supposed to be the comedy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's why you watch things that are supposed to be serious and make fun of them. You know, you don't do comedy. It's like if we came up here, it's like, hey, let's watch an episode of it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's like, why? What are we commenting on? It's funny already. You know what I mean? I, I get it. I get it. I agree with it. I agree with it a lot. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. St- strongly agree? I strongly agree. Shut the fuck up. Far right circle. 
or far left, whichever the one that's on the fucking side of the paper. Uh, Strongly agree. The farthest bubble, whatever the fuck. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. I was going to say The Wire, but then it's like, I don't know if I'm ready to watch The Whole Wire over again. How many times have you seen The Wire? The Wire I've watched like three times. I probably watched The Wire like three times over. I watched it when it originally came out. And then I watched it again after whatever, when it was on like on demand or whatever. And then I think, and I watched it again like recently. And when I say recently, probably a few years ago. You know what I'm saying? But I watched The Wire uh, all the way through like a few times. Shit is good. Boardwalk Empire, on the other hand, I've only watched once. I watched that shit straight through once. I've never watched it back and whatever. So I was going to say that might be one to do. And it also seems like it'd be a little bit more, more fun stuff to make fun of. Prohibition, 20s, you know. 100 years ago. 100 years ago. I'd kill him again if I could. We get it. We get it. This nigga. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Boardwalk Empire might be something to do. And also, Steve Buscemi is just weird looking. So we could just make fun Why of him. Why is his eyes so fucking big? I don't know. He literally his looks... His eye sockets are just fucking... He literally looks like a lizard. He looks like... he look Really, he looks like Rango. <laughs> they should have got him to play Rango instead of Johnny Depp. That was a great movie. You ever seen that shit? I haven't, actually. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I haven't seen Rango. No. You're missing all the good shit. Wow. Niggas never seen Rango. Mm-mm. It's on H- I know it's on HBO. I'm about to look at it. I'm about to. It's on my list, actually. It's on my list. It's on my list. This nigga got a list. Yeah, got a list. I had shit to the list. The list gets longer and longer. Yep. Of things that you're supposed to do but never will. <coughs> Probably. Like win, succeed, <laughs> prosper. Uh, let's see. Yo, let me tell you about this fucking asshole. Right? This is the last thing I'm going to do before I uh, end, end the podcast. We're not going to do a long one today. I'm fucking tired, honestly. Yeah. Fucking, that, the shroomies, they wiped me out. They took a lot from me. Uh, but um, uh, that's why I like to do acid. It's a lot more, you know, it's like McDonald's. Like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, not necessarily, though. Sometimes, man, it's like, it's like, all right, I'm done. I've been high for 12 hours. But, um, yeah, um, Isaac watches this, uh, subpar, uh, underwhelming, uh, really not funny show called Superstore, um, (laughs) which is, I mean, basically it's just another, I mean, basically it's just another, um, attempt at, uh, American television to make people feel better about their lives, you know? It's like you have America Ferreira and all these other people who are, like, actors in Hollywood, Making scale or m- real money, like I'm making a lot of money, and they're pretending to work at fake Walmart. And that's Sh- what that's shows what, that's what he chooses to watch. That shows hilarious, and that's fine. Whatever, and whatever he does in his free time is fine. But we don't bring that to the show. We don't, <laughs> we don't bring Modern Family. Here. We're none of that gay shit. But Modern Family is hilarious. Modern Family is hilarious. I don't, hilarious. Hilarious. I don't, give I don't care. All the right. gay couple is my favorite. <laughs> uh, they're hilarious. They're so care. funny. <laughs> But, uh, fucking, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so, in the show Superstore, there's a character on the show called Isaac, right? <laughs> so, there's a, there was a thing on the show where, I guess, the character on the show named Isaac did something good. And they're all like, Isaac, I, whatever, right? This motherfucker hates me. Tomorrow. Put this on the soundboard? Nigga, no. The fuck is wrong with you? It's it's bad enough you're over there watching <laughs> mediocre, mediocre sitcom sitcom TV. You nigga, you watching that Modern Family? You might as well be a fat white wife from like Wyoming or something. Who think, Wyoming? Who thinks she's progressive? But um, you yeah you uh you Wyoming all right <laughs> watching that show was already troublesome enough, you know sure. disheartening really disappointing it was hilarious disappointing to hear, but then he 
gets a clip from it where he's it's someone with the name of him, just the same name on a TV show, fictional, right? It's all fictional shit, and they're 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 pouring on adulation and praise onto this Isaac, and this desperate dweeb, this sad depressed young man, wanted me to put it on the soundboard. <laughs> So badly, <laughs> so badly, so badly, in fact, <laughs> that he tried to like do some reverse psychology bullshit on me. What? What did I do? Where he goes? What did I do? You could use it for like when I fuck up. So like when I fuck up, you could like, but it's like ironic. I'm like, no, I'm not falling for that. Like, what do you what? So you basically you're basically anything else that's even more sad because basically saying like, so when you f- make fun of me and shit on me, you choose it. Come on, please. Play it. Can I hear it, please? It's hell. It, you know, fuck I, it. I, I thought it was going to be funny. I thought it was. I, th- I mean, I'm, I'm like, throwing shit till it sticks. Is throwing it, shit. Throw, yeah, that's what Literally, yeah, that's what you're doing. Because you watch shit. You ingest uh, shit. Yeah. Maybe you should stop watching Superstore. Maybe you'll be funnier. It's pretty hilarious to me. And that's the problem. Part of the problem. Eh? That's your opinion? It's hilarious to me. This is funny. Well, so, what are the plots of the show? What are the, oh, we got to cut all the prices. We got made everything cheaper. That's not the bargain bin. Oopsie daisy. Grab my face like Macaulay Culkin. Oh, oops. Oh, oh, oh. I mopped the floor and someone slipped and fell. I bet you that was the episode, wasn't it? No. And the, what there was, was it? an episode where they found a dead body in the wall. There was an episode where the manager thought he had a fucking STD. There was all the, another oh, episode. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The, the hilarity and the episode. calamity ensues. There was another episode where... What's your favorite, what's your favorite episode? The episode where... What's your favorite episode? The episode where... The episode where... I'm trying to think. <laughs> the Isaac Chance? <laughs> no, you stop. <sighs> yeah, let you stop. But no, there was... No, I see the funniest shit. The, the funniest shit I can remember was... Well, when I saw Felipe Esparza up there, that shit was hilarious. And then also, there's an episode where the uh, manager, this bitch named Dina, she fights a small nigga named Jonah, and then while she's like trying to beat him up outside the parking lot, she gets on top of him, and then he actually gets a boner. Stupid. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's great. It's great, because now he just had to say out loud. What? It was funny. He just had to say out loud what he likes. And we all got to hear it. What? He's this, she's big. He's small, and it's like one of those things. Like she's a big. And you know what's crazy? I've seen that show, uh, zero point five times. What the show Superstore? I've seen it zero point five times. Okay, I've passed it. <laughs> like I've seen, I passed. I've seen it in passing. passing. The big white lady, she's like she, she like she could be from also be from the Eastern Bloc or Eastern Europe. So like she's like a she's like she's like a female weightlifter, <laughs> right? Some of her then tight, the, her ponytail is so tight. Yeah, yeah. Then there's yeah, other, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen her. Yeah, I've seen her before. Yeah, there was yeah I've episode, seen her. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a character on the show who's kind of like a meek small guy. He's like yeah. And then she she goes to beat him up because she's trying to punish him to show him that she is actually tough and you should listen. And then in, in in response. He gets he gets a boner. It was funny. a doy, a bo a bone a boing a boing. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. The fuck? It wasn't Isaac. It's <laughs> not yo. The shit that you force yourself to watch. It was insane. fucking hilarious. I don't give a fuck. Uh, hilarious. It was funny to me. That might be a stretch. Damn. You saying it funny? You saying that it's funny already makes me go. Just no. watch Superstore. Just watch no. it. Just watch it, no. guys. Just you're not it. allowed. No, no. I'm cutting that out. You're not, allowed, <laughs> you're not allowed to tell people who listen to my fucking show to go watch something so fucking stupid and so fucking gay and so fucking pa- patronizing. That's patronizing. The guy on the... Guy, the that's first of all, there's a character that's hilarious. There's another character. Oh, my God. What? That's patronizing comedy. That's what you're watching. The guy shit, the shit might as... Shit might as well have a fucking laugh track, nigga. That's what you're watching. You're watching Happy Days, but in a fucking Walmart. I've actually never seen Happy Days. Yeah, you don't need to. You're watching it now. Bullshit. Why are you so offended by this? It's yo. It's just. It's <laughs> Why so... are you making a big deal of this? Oh no. I mean, obviously, this is for the show. It's a podcast. What the fuck. This is my thing. Yeah. It's what I do. 
But at the same time, <laughs> but at the just, same it's time. just shit entertainment. It's, yeah. it's shit. Is it as bad as watching like reality television? No. But you're not that far ahead of it. I'm just saying. Super fucking store? That show is funny. Just the premise alone is a no for me, Chief. Like, it's just not happening. It's about it's about the kooky, wacky people who work in a Walmart type super super conglomerate store. That's dumb. It's fucking gay. And you know why you like it too, probably? Right, right. Because you used to work at a dollar store. So you feel camaraderie with those eight dollar an hour motherfuckers and what they go through and their problems. And you wish that at your job it wasn't just you ringing out fucking maniacs who mumble to themselves. You wish you had a fucking big huge white manager who would fight you down to the ground oh, hell no. in the parking lot. And then what Isaac, the fuck? And, then, and then Isaac. And why, but why was that the thing you picked? I said, what was your favorite episode? Yeah, there was an episode because everybody was like, why the fuck did he get a boner? And there was an episode where he dressed up, uh, he made a mannequin try to look like Amy, uh, Amy, America Ferreira. These are Nigga, old, just these fucking are watch old. the show. I don't no, know. Just stop watch the show. telling people that. The fuck is wrong with you? You you torture yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what was the what was what was the best episode of Sunny Philadelphia? So many. Hey, give, give, many me, give me give me give me some because I Charlie I, I haven't been watching Charlie McDennis Sunny Philadelphia. Charlie McDennis. They made a, they made up their own board game from when they were kids, and the winner gets to mutilate the other people's toys. So like uh fucking Mac and um. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Um, fuck Charlie. They had like GI Joe characters, and they've been playing this game for years since they were kids. Those two GI Joes are melted, stabbed, they have pins and right. Dennis and Dee's char- characters that they've had since it's like Bar- a Barbie and a Ken, and they're pristine and never because they've never lost. Damn. And the game's called Charlie McDennis, and part of it is like they do a haka to each other. A what? A haka. What the fuck is a haka? You don't know a haka. From like uh from my from the Maori people, you look you look Maori and you don't know about this. You you look like Maui and you don't know about this. Uh, you know the haka that they do in um in fucking uh they they do it in um. It's on uh, the dance. Yeah, it's called a haka. They did that to each other. It's four white people. What the in f- a bar? Who da ha all in each other's face? Yo, uh, what else? Um, what other episode was so great? Uh, any episode with Cricket? There's this guy they used to go to school with named Cricket, and he becomes a priest. And then by like the sixth season, they've done so many terrible things to him. To, he's now like a fucking heroin addict on the street who's deformed, like sucking dicks. Yeah, uh, and they decided, wow. they decided to hunt him one episode. Hunt him? How do you what? Yeah, they was like they had to hunt the greatest game. Uh, let's see. Uh, some of the Frank episodes are really, really good. One of the greatest lines in that show is when um, Frank, played by Danny DeVito, uh, his um, uh, D and um, uh, fucking the other one, the boy, who are his, his kids, they're like, "Well, if you do that, how are we gonna pay for your funeral?" He's like, "When I die, just throw me in the trash." <laughs> Shit is simple. <laughs> Uh, yo, you got it. Yo, you uh, after this, I wonder. If, I don't think Always oh, Sunny Philadelphia is on um on uh, HBO Max. Nope. I think it's only on uh, Hulu. I have Hulu though, but I don't feel like signing into that shit. Just yeah, to show, yeah, just to show him fucking Always oh, Sunny Philadelphia. Something that he should have watched already. Another yo, another great episode was when um. Fucking uh, damn! What's the one with um? Oh, D, cause D, the the uh, the, the girl, they're always they always shitting on her, telling her she's like a bird, and fucking uh, uh, basically she thinks she could be a comedian, right? She wants to be a comedian, oh, okay. so they basically like make her believe that she like is being successful at a, as a comedian, and like that she got booked on um Conan O'Brien, and they like rented a, a jet. But they never left the tarmac. So, but like, but like they had the shades down. She thought she was like on a jet going or whatever. And it was all a prank. <laughs> they made her think her dreams came true. 
and they pulled the rug from under her. I mean, come on. It sounds very like. What? Well, how does it sound? I, I gotta watch it. I mean, hey, man. When you, like, you, know like, hey, you know what's funny? You talk about Whenever you losing. explain the plots of comedies, it sounds fucking stupid until you watch it. Of course, because yeah. comedy is supposed to be stupid. Yeah. But this is the thing. When you... It's like, okay. When you watch it, I'll promise you, you will laugh harder than you've ever laughed watching Superstore. I doubt you've ever la- have you ever you've never belly laughed like laughed out loud watching that shit. I have, yes. Ugh. Oh my god. Nigga wheezing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that shit's that funny. Wow. Wow. The guy in the wheelchair is hilarious. Yeah, uh, he's funny. His name is um fucking uh He was in Cockblockers uh, as well. He was a limousine driver. I never saw that movie. Um but uh damn I forget his name. But he's a yeah, he's a, um he's an improv comedy guy. He used to be on Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, but yeah, he's, yeah. he's he's funny. He's funny. His name's like Duncan something or whatever the fuck. He used to be on Parks and Rec too, as part of the Lone Rangers. Mm-hmm. The, the him and this other uh, weed head nigga who worked at Parks and Rec basically called himself the Lone Rangers, like Bill and Ted. You ever seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yeah, I've seen Bill and Ted. Yeah, so they called themselves the Lone Rangers. That black guy and then this other guy, um, Harris Whittles, he died. He died of heroin overdose. But yeah, that, that nigga's funny. That that black guy, he's funny. And I'm, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. He's relegated to being uh, the wheelchair guy in the fucking... There was an episode where he lost uh, the manager's... Uh, it was an envelope with the... Because the manager was having a kid, so they didn't know what the sex was, and then he lost the envelope in the wheelchair. Yeah, that's, 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 just, that's just regular sitcom trope shit. There's nothing original about that. The shit I just said, Charlie McDennis, a game that they made up themselves with fucking question and answers on fucking cue cards from years ago where the answers are not based on fact. They're just based on what the fuck you said 10 years ago. The question is, the question is, who's, who's, the question is, who's the hottest, who's the hottest woman in the world? And then, and then, uh, fucking, um, what's the D goes, obviously Carmen Electra. Because they played the game back in 1999. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just different. It's in. It's innovative. It's just, and it's also funny. But don't get me wrong. Just trying to be weird for weird sake doesn't always work. Like, I used to watch Tim and Eric. And, like, sometimes, like, you guys are just being weird for weird sake. This is not even fucking funny. This is, this is, this is truly anti-comedy. When people call you guys anti-comedy, that, this is that right now. Because this is not funny. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, you're just, I'm just saying, basically, it's like, you're, what you're doing, the comedy you're watching, you're smoking mid. You're just smoking mid comedy. That's all. Damn. You watch mid comedy. I'm smoking mid comedy? That's mid. That's mid. That's definitely mid. So what, what's, what's low? What's up, mid? When I say mid, I mean trash. Mid, mid. is just like, you know, you get trash weed, some mid. Yeah. yeah, that's what you, yeah, you mid. watch mid. Like, you watch mid comedy. You, your comedy is shit you watch is mid. Have you ever seen Step Brothers? Yeah. What is your assessment of Step Brothers? Um, well, I'll be honest, I watched it on TV. It came on TV, so I didn't get to see like the whole thing. I guess they cut some parts out, whatever. Yeah. So, it, it was, it wasn't, because it was on TV, so it wasn't that funny, because it was on TV. But I, it I, still had most of it. There was, there was some funny TV. parts in there, but like, it wasn't. It, well, okay, I remember you talked about the scene where uh, he's fighting a Step Brother over the drums and shit. Yeah, yeah. I watched it. It was corny because they left certain parts out, whatever. Oh yeah. So I mean, all you missed was that the, he put the fake testicles on it. That's all you missed. This, everything else was probably still left in. But that's what I'm trying to say. When me and Shooter went to go see Step Brothers, I was like, yo, that like might be like in my top three funniest movies I've ever fucking seen. That shit was hilarious. But that's what I'm saying. You like mid comedy? It's like like what's the funniest movie you think you've ever seen? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Uh, There's not a movie that like really like like killed you like yo what the fuck you know what I'm saying like Pineapple oh, Express I mean The Heat with uh, Sandra Bullock and Mr. McCarthy mid, that's definitely mid that's definitely some mid uh, that's <laughs> definitely was hilarious. some mid uh, what else was there anything uh, fucking uh, uh, what's her name McCarthy what's her name oh 
What's her name? Um, that uh, one? Marissa McCarthy. Anything with Melissa McCarthy is mid. Thirty minutes or less was hilarious. I like that one. That was okay. That that was that was kind of like just like oh okay. Have you ever seen uh, Have you ever seen Your Highness? No. With Danny McBride. Have you ever seen uh, uh, fucking what's that shit called? Um, Land of the Lost. No. <laughs> You ever see Tal Dick and Nice Ricky Bobby? Yeah. Okay. That, yo, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, let's see. What else? I'm trying to think about more. Yo, the movie recently I saw that like really had me like crying was that Fubar shit. You never see that shit, right? Fubar? Fubar. It's about these niggas from uh, Canada. I think it's from Nova Scotia or some shit. The fuck? I don't know anything about that. Yo, that shit is fucking. That movie literally had me laughing, like crying out loud, laughing. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just, to me, bro, it's just like shit like that, what you're talking about, is just mid. Like, like don't get me wrong, I used to watch mid. I used to watch uh, Parks and Recs. I never got into The Office. I tried to watch The Office off, off the strength of Patrice, because Patrice O'Neill was up there, mm-hmm. and I was like, ugh. He's, yeah, I tried watching The Office. He's, not, was trash. Good. he's, not, he's not good up here, and the show is not really a good cup thing, of tea. Yeah. Parks and Recs was a little bit, yeah, a little more silly, so I liked it a little better. Uh, 30 Rock, you know, sure. I haven't Rock. seen 30 Rock. 30 Rock also is a show where it's like, I, I kind of, whatever, but that show is also mid. But it's, but it's, it's, I think it's like, it's like kind, bud. It's like, a, it's like an upper class mid. And then, uh, so I'm saying comedy TV, though, is really like, I don't know, it's not really like, not really hitting like that. That's what I said, Sunny and Phil, always Sunny in Philadelphia, to me, is like really the best, to me, that's the best TV comedy in like the last 10, 15 years. To me, honestly. Mm. That shit is fucking hilarious. You never watched it? Watch what? Watch what? Always Sunny in Philadelphia? I haven't. I only seen the wrestling episode. And that was hilarious! No, th- yeah, it was funny. The trash man? <laughs> that was funny. But I didn't, I didn't look into anything else. Well, it's all right, man. You just like mid. Yeah, probably. You're just like an old head. You're like an old nigga. <laughs> Don't give me none of that fancy shit, nigga. None of them names. <laughs> Indica, Sativa, 75. Nigga, I heard y'all niggas say some wild ass numbers. High as fuck. Nigga, give me some mid. Give me some mid. I'm good watching Superstar with America Ferrera. Wow. Being, being moderately attractive and underwhelmingly funny. So yeah, yeah. I'm a disappointment in the stew and comedy. <laughs> I, I just, just, just your, ta- your taste in things. <laughs> it's funny. I don't care. I don't care. Fuck. I, I had to show this thing a life and times of Tim. That's a funny fucking show. Wait, which one did you show? You and ten year old Tom. Oh yeah, life, Tom, time, life and times. Of that, Tim. Was, that, that was funny. That, but that's what I'm trying that to shit say. was funny. That's, that's primo. That's top shelf shit. That's not no mid. Fucking Eastbound. Have you ever watched Eastbound and Down? No. I'm about to show this man Eastbound and Down as soon as I click the shit off. This show, go watch Eastbound. If you haven't seen, Danny McBride might be, <clears throat> for at least for at least the two years that he was really hot, he was the f- funniest person to me in the world. Like, honestly. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the funniest niggas for like a couple years. Like, for real. Like, dead ass. That's why I said you ever seen Your Highness. That's you gotta nice. see that shit. That shit is fucking hilarious. But yeah, uh, you know, this was just like kind of like an episode that we just did just because we were supposed to. We were supposed to do a review of Many Saints of Newark, of the Many Saints of Newark, and we didn't really review shit. We just like said <laughs> stuff about it. But I mean, if I had to give it a, um, if I had to give it like an actual like review, like a like a score, uh, I'd give it, I mean, nah, this is what I do. I'd probably give it like, uh, i give it eight gobbagools. Eight gobbagools? i give it eight gobbagools. Hey Gabagools. Hey Gabagools or 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 in 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 the replacement of such thing, you could you could you could yourself say eight meatballs out of ten. Eight so eight, out of 10. what would you give it? I'd say eight meatballs out of ten. Hey Gabagools. What would you say? Uh, give it about give it, out of ten? Out of ten, I would give it about nine breadsticks. Okay. Nine breadsticks. Okay, we're over talking about Gabagool, fucking meatballs. And this guy goes to fucking breadsticks. The shit they put on the table that you can fucking feed to the birds after you finish hey, eating. Yo, the fucking breadsticks. <laughs> hey, no, no, yo, no one gives a fuck about good, man. Nobody gives a fuck about the breadsticks. You didn't grow with breadsticks. But that makes sense because you like mid. 
You probably love <laughs> Yo. Pretzels. You're probably like, mm, 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 mm. don't even bring me the ZD. I just, mm, I love these breadsticks. Yeah, you just, that's just like mid. That's all. Straight. All right, guys. See you next week. See you.